everyone, so today's video is going to be a very s weird one because today I've done Krampus. Is it Krampus or Krampus? Krampus. Krampus. Not sure about that, but the film has come out. I don't know if it's come out yet, but I really want to go see because I love horror films. And I don't know, I'm not really a paint expert like I said in my Grinch video, but I don't know, this one looks kind of cool and freaky, I would say, but I love it so much and I had so, so, so much fun making this one. Um, I don't know, it just looks so weird. <laughs> I've also got a little beard here that I made out of some hair extensions. But anyways, we'll just get straight onto the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. So the first things that you're going to need are first of all a spatula and a plate kind of thing then um, snazaroo face paint or whatever face paint you have but snazaroo ones are very very good and they're water based and I think they're kind to the skin as well and this is my snazaroo face paint palette. So first of all I'm just scraping off some white paint with my spatula and I'm going to be scraping off some black as well and mixing the two on my plate to create a grey as you can see here. I then use a flat foundation brush to apply the grey all over my face and down my neck as well. Um, these wash off easily off my brushes, I just use my Beauty Blender soap, the bar soap, and they wash off fine because they are water based. But if you want you can just buy separate brushes if you'd like. I do have to say that I did not have any horns for this look, obviously Krampus does have horns but I just didn't have anything to make them or I didn't have any like shop nearby to buy them so I just thought I'd do it, the look without them anyways. In those areas where it was applying a bit patchy, I used my Beauty Blender to just blend it out properly and it always blends nicely with a sponge. Um, honestly, the sponge that comes with the Snazaroo palette is really, really good as well. Then I'm just creating the brows. I did have a res reference picture. I'll probably put a picture up right now, um, but I was just kind of like looking off this picture while I was doing this tutorial. But basically the brow eyebrows are very f big and fluffy like. I'm then applying some black paint on my eyelids as a base and then I went into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture palette and took the shade Noir and just basically smudged this all over my eyelid and on my lower lash line and I wasn't going neat with this I was just going really overboard and not really taking into account how blended it looks really. I then went on to the nose and I really wanted the nose to appear very pointy as you can see in the reference picture. Um, so this is what I tried to do is basically make it look pointier. Here I'm just shading the lower part of the nose to help that shape as well. I then took my beauty blender and black paint and then started kind of contouring my face to make it look very slim well as Krampus well I tried to because I've got a round face but um, it was applying a bit patchy but all you have to do is just work with it and keep applying layers um, and then I just kept blending if I put too much I just went back with the grey and then blended the grey in so it didn't look as harsh here I'm just overlining the the mouth again like properly so that it's very defined um, I just created a simple mouth shape I just followed off the picture um, you want to make it more square towards the bottom though because here it's quite round which I ended up changing afterwards and I wished I made the cheekbones a bit pointier than rounded but that's what I would do differently but oh well Then started to outline the teeth with the black paint and a very thin brush and you want to do them like pointy but it doesn't matter if it's not neat because you're going to go back in with white paint and then re overline them with black paint to make them really stand out.
Then I took the black eyeshadow again and really contoured my cheeks um, and kind of shaded them as well. As you can see here, I'm really um, blending it out with the Beauty Blender if I thought it was too harsh. And then I went in back again with some eyeshadow. Here I'm just highlighting my under eyes with some white paint and the sponge. Um, I then took a brush to really get into the inner corners and then wiped off the sponge a bit and then blended it all out. And then here I'm going in with some white and really outlining the teeth while filling in the teeth. And you want to keep that pointy shape and do as many teeth as you can. I think the more there are the better it looks, well the creepier it looks really. Here I'm taking the black eyeshadow again and going downwards on the side of my mouth and this creates, creates a very thin skinny face shape. Um, you can see in the picture as well that there are those lines there as well. Um, and then here I'm taking some black eyeshadow again and going in under my eyes to really shade them out and make them look deep and dark and creepy. Then I took some white paint with the sponge and highlighted my cheeks to really make them stand out, kind of like highlighting really. And then the rest is just basic shading and stuff. I mean, you don't have to be an expert to do this because I'm no expert really. <laughs> and then I kind of like made an angry kind of face and created my, like outlined my wrinkles I would say. And then I did that on the sides of my mouth and here I am going back with the black around the teeth and outlining them. You want to do this when the white has dried. And it just really makes them stand out. In the centre where there was gaps I just took some red paint and filled it in. Towards the outer corner of the mouth you want to like kind of blend it in with the black paint so it kind of diffuses. I then took the red paint as well and put some on my lower lash line. You probably can't tell but I did add some there. And here I'm highlighting my nose and this really made the nose look even pointier, like I was so freaked out. <laughs> it looks so weird. But yeah, that really helps to create the pointy nose. I'm highlighting my forehead and uh, redrawing the wrinkles on the forehead a bit. And here I'm just cleaning up under the cheeks a bit because I thought one side was a bit too thick on the black line. So wherever you made a mistake, just take the grey paint and then cover wherever you ha you've made mistakes. Kind of like concealing. And I'm just intensifying the black around the nose to really make this nose pointy and weird looking. I also went in with some white paint to kind of create some more hairs on the eyebrows and give more definition to them. And here I'm also 
outlining the mouth again to really make it stand out. I also did apply some grey paint on the centre of the bottom lip to make him look like lips basically. And then I popped in my contacts, these are the yellow ones from colouryoureyes.com, I think that's a website but I'll link it in the info box. Here I'm just fixing up the mess that um, the contacts made under my eyes from my tears. Then onto the hair, you can wear a wig or anything but I just proper teased my hair out and I just used some basic round brushes and some Boots hairspray. I then took some extensions and cut a bit off it, well the black, black, the black part of it and then glued some to my chin to make the beard. I took some skin adhesive, you can use, um, I forgot the name of the glue but I'll link it in the info box but it's a different type of glue. Um, you can use that um, glue or skin adhesive to glue the hair onto your chin and it really glues on properly and it's so easy to take off. I just use a makeup wipe but you can use alcohol as well to take it off. But yeah, that's all I did to create this makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Christmassy, scary kind of video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share this video wherever you can. And subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.